back in the pregame just moments ago. And Derek Jeter and Soriano had the life scared out of him before the start of this game. That is one huge. And tons of bugs now around home plate. I've never seen this in my entire life. I've never seen that. He sounds like a nuclear bomb drill. Oh my gosh. And the 1-0. is a line drive base hit center field. Coming around third, DeRosa's going to win the ball game. It got by Crisp. Maybe the birds distracted him. And the Indians win it and take the series. To and it may have distracted him. Well, I'll tell you, it was a bullet, and there you see up the middle. Here's the birds. They fly out of the way. It got a bird. That ball hit the bird, and it went down. It deflected him, so it did. The birds are out here. It hits a bird. He goes. Guest for the Yankees right on the railing of their, their dugout, a praying mantis who's become very close friends with Luis Severino, who's given him the cup to stand on, just put a ball there, some seeds, and Severino's – been uh Salonzo and Healy to follow. That one hit foul. Does Siegel come like right yeah. between the pitcher and yes. the catcher or the pitcher and the hitter? And I yeah, all the crowd went, ooh. I think Chris Davis and, did too. Yeah, and I saw something fly through. There it is, there right? It is. Look at that. Did it hit? No, it missing. Chris Davis, so what are you swinging? <laughs> and he's eating a French fry too, so he's rubbing it in. <laughs> 746. Okay, 747. Denard Spann said, New York Pigeons, go find Jimmy Rollins. It's a pigeon shift. He's playing the 5.5 hole. If he wanted some action, he'd be there. But 20 feet to the left against Wilson Ramos. <laughs> Cody Ashley's laughing at him. He said, I don't know. There's a bird next to me. What am I supposed to do? Trent, do it too. The way Ryan's hit him, that bird better turn toward home plate. Cecil had a strikeout. He struck out Chu before he left. Timeout, bird crossing. Taking his time too, isn't he? <laughs> you know you can fly. It's a lot faster than walking. Why doesn't somebody run up there and shoo him away? He's going to throw the rosin bag at him. Go ahead. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> well, you remember last time a ball player messed with the bird in Toronto, it was really a problem. <laughs> <laughs> you got to go back to Dave Winfield when he was at the Yankees. So the birds know they're a protected species here as far as baseball game goes. <laughs> they can do whatever they want. Whatever they And uh, <laughs> pigeon out in front of the pitcher's mound. Worley went over to chew it away. It draws a smile from Miguel Cabrera. <laughs> All found out of play. I mean, that is unbelievable. No concern whatsoever what's going on between the pitcher's mound and home plate. And his buddy's coming up from behind. <laughs> he has a buddy right behind Vance. I mean, we should call Vance Whirly Whirly Bird. Cabrera, he's kind of taking his time going in, wondering whether or not he should. <laughs> no, just that's like, got to be crazy. It's, it's insane. And it has to cause some <laughs> disturbance here. <laughs> I mean, everybody's just, acting like this is normal. They're let, let them <laughs> go. Just let, let them go. Uh, <laughs> Trying to, they, now, Cabrera says, no, this can't continue. Come on. They, 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 they could care, care less. <laughs> So now the whirly bird will try it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's hilarious. And then they're going to go right back at it. <laughs> and now they're closer to home plate. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Whirly just rolled the baseball. <laughs> Whirly just rolled the baseball. <laughs> oh, man. You got to be kidding. Whirly rolls the baseball. <laughs> and they could care less. Duck pins. Oh, my, yeah. <laughs> I mean, pins oh, my pins. goodness. <laughs> And there's a squirrel that ran right in front of home plate. He saw the squirrel yesterday, and now he's in the stands. So obviously with tickets for each of the first two games, the uh, distraction this was. Here it is. <laughs> Fortunately for the squirrel, he's low to the ground, Dick. Back in 2001 in spring training in Tucson, Arizona, Randy Johnson had a similar situation. Games 5 for 11, batting 454. And check out this. <laughs> we have a squirrel crawling up the net behind home plate. I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, really. The, uh, the squirrel and the Phillies and the Cardinals, that's not something we want to talk about. He's going to try. He's, oh! Oh, I, I, I didn't think that was going to happen. Now he's on the Phillies dugout. Now he's in the Phillies dugout. The players have scattered. I've never quite seen anything like this. <laughs> Aren't you glad you got tonight's game, Murph? Oh, my. Well, it's definitely not a flying squirrel. No, but it was a falling one. Leslie, are you okay down there? Leslie, get to higher ground. If I you have hear jumped us. onto higher ground. I am up on the uh, camera platform now. The squirrel ran through the dugout, all veering for his life. Well, oh it, my. Incoming! Oh my. <laughs> Poor guy. Well, we saw something we'd never even considered seeing in our lifetimes. Starting pitcher minding his own business in an American Eagle. What happened to you today? Well, an American Eagle landed on my shoulder. And I was getting ready to pitch a game. Whoa, that's scary though. And James handled it a lot better than I would have. I think Mike, you would say the Absolutely, same thing. Absolutely, I would have been on the ground. I'd have found a gear I didn't know I had. <laughs> getting away from that sucker. Let me tell you, Mariners, Twins, first pitch coming up next. The Hawk has really enjoyed its seat tonight, not moving from its perch. Encarnacion lost that deep to right field, twisting towards the line. It is gone. Edwin Encarnacion will walk the parry as he accesses the short porch in right and gives the Yankees a little insurance in the eighth. Well, if he is able to call that hawk down so he can walk that hawk around the bases, we'll be all set. Huh? The hawk got a little nervous up there for a minute. All right, who did it? <laughs> <laughs> who did it? Five against Moylan. Say, there's a squirrel. There are rally squirrels back, Danny. Oh, that's, that's a cat. Not a squirrel. <laughs> that's a cat. And somewhere, Tony LaRusso is not. A remember, here got a member of the grounds crew coming out there to hopefully pick up the cat. There it is. <laughs> ow! Ow! <laughs> Stop it! To Yadier Molina. Molina! Deep left! Pitches. Good to see. Yeah. Uh oh, we got a rally mallard. <laughs> we have a couple of them. Rally greenhead. Ducks on the pond everywhere, I guess you could say. Yeah, and the uh, event staff not exactly sure what to do about this. I mean, ducks at the ballpark. <laughs> the closest water, the uh, Anacostia, running along the first baseline. That's the greenhead. You might say one's fair and one's. Goose is on the field. They're trying to scare it off the field. Move it. Oh, yeah. He likes the dirt instead. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Quick. Can't quite get that launch angle down yet. Huh. Working it. Nope. He ain't going anywhere. No. Worked all night to get these seats. And he's going to perch in left field. Nope. There he goes. He gone. He's in cruise control now. Oh! Ran into the scoreboard. Down goes the goose. Oh, the poor thing. Hopefully the goose is all right. He's okay. 
thankfully. And, uh, they're trying to uh, make sure that the uh, that the goose. And, yeah, she's that's take great. Time to take care of them. Seems to be okay now. They just made the announcement here at Comerica Park. The the goose is loose, healthy, and free to roam. So that's uh, fantastic yes, news. Great news. Doing all right after hitting the uh, the ribbon. Field, desperately looking for a way out of here. Yeah, I, I, I feel like that sometimes. Easy there, G. <laughs> now Stanton is going to knock on the door. Yeah. Don't no, don't pick that up. Don't do it. Don't do it. Uh oh. Don't do it. Oh. Now the cat is going to have to take a lap. There's no way out over there, right? Nope. nope. This brings up, remember I told you that that night in the kingdom long, long time ago, where the usher tried to pick up. Oh, oh my. wow. What? Uh, I don't know. Where is that cat going to go from there, though? <laughs> He's thinking about it. Yeah, there was a, a cat in the kingdom, and one of the security guys, look at this cat, terrific stuff by the cat. <laughs> Outstanding. Oh, my. <laughs> so he has scaled, look at this. He has scaled the uh, home run sculpture. And, and now the cat, the cat's mind has to be blown, right? I mean, he's looking up, and he sees <laughs> look flamingos. He sees. Flamingos and sunshine. <laughs> It's like, all right, I'm good. There's no humans around here. Guys, like, what? Wait a minute. What world is this? That was an incredible effort on his part. Outside, two balls and one strike. That dragonfly is still on the hat. Got to hold on to something, <laughs> right? That's unbelievable. That's a good grip right there. Beautiful shot. That's how you know a pitcher is focused. I said he was tough, mentally. In the dirt, three balls and one strike. Now the hitter probably wants to say something, maybe doesn't want to say something. <laughs> this is like a prank. How about that fly just hanging on? It looks like a feather. Huh? I think if I'm the hitter, I'm going to say timeout. This thing might fly at me too. 3-1, foul tips. Here's the real question. Could it actually be caught in his hat and he can't get free? That too. Now we may have to worry about the safety of this dragonfly. So we thought we'd use Yes Mo, brought to you by your Tri-State Mercedes-Benz deal in a good way. Watch the dragonfly chase wow. the baseball right there. Not every day in life do you see that in slow motion, right? You do not. Dragon. Hey, hey, remember in the uh, Randy Johnson hit a. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Leave me alone. Run <laughs> <laughs> oh. for cover. Did a game in San Diego a number of years ago where it got so bad they had to clear the field and bring in a. Uh... This Cabrera and it's 4 3 rings. He just he made a dive away from the bird, David. Wow. That's a first. First of all, excellent job of hitting going down. Digging out that pitch for a line drive and an RBI. Hey. So here's Kiermaier. He sees the bird. On the field. Oh, kitty. There it comes across. There it is. There, kitty, 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 kitty. Man, he is fast. No oh, doubt. Something about the carnival oh. of animals. He gone. <laughs> Cat like quickness. <laughs> Where's the squirrel? <laughs> That's I don't St. think Lewis. he's done. <laughs> he's still cruising. Can't see him, but just look no. at the reaction of the people. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he is fast. He must have landed somewhere. Somebody got him. Nice catch. Whoa. Yeah. That's a big cat, too. A little bit of excitement here at the big A. 
lonely bird out there. He's on duck. <laughs> He's in the on duck circle. That feathered friend, Ducky Medwick. Carlos Martinez trying to earn maybe another All Star vote. He's part of the final ballot, right? Yeah. There. The last man. I think that's. I think that's illegal. You're not supposed to uh, to bribe anyone to vote for you. No. Although I don't think the duck has a working email address. Well, the Cardinals right now are feeding that bird. Carlos Martinez trying to curry favor even with the bird to get more votes online. And now one and one to Pena. Uh oh, look who's back. Well, you know what? I think we're infringing on his territory. He's trying to get some nuts ready for the winter time. <laughs> now one and two as Pena fouls another one off. <laughs> I'll tell you, there's not many people in the suites here today, but the, that foul ball went over there and it gave him a wake-up call. I think he's trying to find a way out. There's that sweet. Yeah, you're right. That little guy uh, in batting practice definitely was concerned for his safety. The squirrel was heading towards the infield during batting practice. He definitely started running to try to shield the outfield because that little guy could have got hurt. The ball hit. Well, right now, the Indian bullpen's having a good time watching him go. Enjoying this field. Why wouldn't you? It's beautiful. <laughs> he wants to go check on Aoki now. Obviously, he's a Cleveland fan because he's getting in the way of the Royal defense. He wants to get right at the Signing the fans for sure. They're paying more attention to the, the squirrel. I think Tomlin figures it's going to upset his, uh, his outfielders, not going to be able to make a play. It is a bit odd seeing this little creature running across the field. Michael Brantley not impressed. <laughs> Keeping his eyes on Not him. impressed. <laughs> <laughs> He's Come closing in on the infield. You see, Tomlin can't pitch. And, you know, Jerry Lane's telling Jaso to get in the batter's box. And can you imagine that? Hey, Jerry, there's a squirrel on the yeah, field. And now he's, he actually he actually went to Jaso while the squirrel was running around, and he must have said something about getting the batter's box because that's when Tomlin threw the next pitch. And now he's looking at the A's dugout. He's talking to Jay So as Jay So walked away. I mean, if the pitcher's not ready to pitch, what's the hitter supposed to do? Oh. Starting to feel bad for this little yeah. fellow. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> Jay So fouls on the left side. Squirrels in the stands now. Swing on this one and one. And the fans now are cheering on the seagull. They want the gull to land somewhere. And he is just circling around, trying to find some food. There's none out there. But maybe some used sunflower seeds. That's about it. Now it's one and two. It's got to be tough for the hitter if that seagull flies right <laughs> Rodriguez while he's batting. <laughs> and he has landed and he's getting an ovation. <laughs> Welcome to Baltimore. Of course, he, he lives in the harbor, so <laughs> he didn't have to come far. He's looking around like, what's going on? I'm important. And the one-two is fouled down the line. <laughs> 